happy Wednesday, Stampers. It's time for another What's She Making Wednesday. And this week, we're gonna do a fun fold called a book fold. So I have some examples here of some book fold cards. So you can see it almost looks like the book binding that you would find on a, like a library book, right? So we have these fun book folds that we are gonna do today. So the paper that I'm featuring here is from our designer series paper pack called Countryside Inn. Oop, that was too close, huh? So it features all of these fun designs. Goes with our Countryside Corner stamp set collection. And so this is the opposite side. So so fun, it, you know, you have two sides to choose from in all our designer series paper. And if you're watching this in June of 2023, all of our designer series paper packs are 15% off. So this is the time to stock up on your favorites. So that's what I'm featuring today in these fun fold cards. And you can see I've used different stamp sets in all of these and different embellishments and all kinds of things, but the fold is the same. So let's clear our space and let me share with you what you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a piece of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, and we are going to cut that to make our fun fold, but I know you wanna take screenshots of the measurements, so I will put these in here. And so these are the, I already pre-cut all of this, but these are, there you go, so you'll be able to screenshot the measurements. These are the measurements of all the papers that we'll be using. So we're gonna be using our designer series paper in a four by four, in a one by four, a piece of basic white in three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and we're going to take our eight and a half by 11 paper, and I'm gonna do that part with you. And we're gonna cut it at four and a quarter, and then we're gonna score it at four and a quarter and five and a half. So those are our measurements. So let's get started. So let me pull in my paper trimmer here. And we've got our full size sheet. This is Knight of Navy cardstock. And so we are gonna first cut this at four and a quarter. And so we're just gonna cut this paper in half, right? And then we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So remember with our paper trimmer, we've got our cutting blade and then we've also got our scoring blade. So we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. And then we're also gonna move it up and we're gonna score it again at five and a half. So we've got two score lines there, four and a quarter and five and a half. Four and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, so this is gonna be our base here. And so let me grab my bone folder and we are going to take our score lines here. Remember, we're gonna bury the bump. So we're gonna bury this first bump. We're gonna line up our corners and then we're gonna use our bone folder to just crease along our score line. So that way we just get a nice fold. And then we're gonna do it again on our other fold line here, but we're going to burnish it on the opposite end. So this is gonna create our book fold, our book binding fold. So now we're just gonna pull in some glue, some of our multi-purpose green glue here. And on this binding, we'll call it, we're just gonna put a bit of green glue. We're gonna fold this down and press it. And then we're gonna let that dry for a quick minute. But that creates this book bind fold. Easy peasy, right? And kind of fun. Let me stick my stamp pad on top of that for a minute. And today we're going to use two things. We're going to use our Irresistible Blooms stamp set. So we're going to use the flower from this set. And we're also going to use the Hello Sentiment. 
And then we're also going to use the sentiment banner here from our Stylish Shapes dies. So I already pre-die cut that. I actually, as another little tip, have a set of these already pre-cut. So this is like your organizational tip. If you have a bunch of these pre-cut, makes it so easy when you're gonna make a card, you can just grab them and go. And I like to do that when I'm, you know, watching TV or something, right? Okay, so we're gonna use our irresistible blooms. So I've already got these mounted. Set that aside. We're gonna use our Knight of Navy here. We're gonna ink up our hello. And on this sentiment, we're just gonna stamp this right in the middle. So we've got our hello right there in the middle. Okay, and then we're gonna pull in our basic white that we already pre-cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So this is gonna be the inside panel of our card. And we're gonna use our flower here for the inside. So we're gonna ink this up in that same Knight of Navy. And we're gonna stamp off kind of in the corner, right there, just like that, so that we have our flower just as a bit of a decoration for the inside of our card. Then we're gonna close up our Knight of Navy. Don't wanna get ink on everything, right? And now we're gonna put together this card. So we'll bring back in our green glue here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach the inside panel to our card. So we're just gonna center this right in the middle here. Press that down, make sure it's centered, flip that over, give it a little back rub, and we have our panel. Okay, so now on the outside, we're gonna bring in those designer series paper that we cut. So the first one is that four by four. I don't know, you can use either side of this one. We're just gonna put a bit of green glue on the back here and center that right on this right panel here. Then we're gonna take our one by four, and this one we're gonna flip it over. So that way we have kind of two different designs here for our card. So we're just gonna put some green glue on it. And we're gonna center this in the center of this scored area on the left. Okay, so there we have our basic of our card. So now we get to design it, decorate and embellish it. So we'll close up our green glue here. And for our embellishments today, we're gonna use some linen thread and we're gonna use our in color 2325 dots. And so this has this boho blue, which is in this designer series paper. So we're gonna use that, those boho blue dots today and this linen thread. So first let's cut some linen thread. So we're gonna wrap this around kind of three or four times, just around your fingers there. Got my ribbon snips. I put a piece of ribbon on there, so I know they're the ones that I always use on my different linens and threads, ribbons and threads. And we're just gonna take our linen thread here and we're just gonna kind of loop it together and kind of pull so they're a little bit uneven and then we're gonna set this on our card and we're gonna kind of play with it here to see kind of how we want it to look so we don't want them sticking out kind of in funny ways right so let's fix these then we're gonna grab some of our dot or um, dimensionals grab some of our dimensionals here so we love our dimensionals and we're gonna stick these kind of in the middle here. So when we grab a, like two of these and put them right here in the middle. And so those kind of help to hold down our linen thread, okay? 
Then we're gonna take our sentiment here, we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna put a dimensional on each end, left and right. Okay, so then we're gonna pull the backings off of our dimensionals here, and off of the middle dimensionals. And we're going to stick our sentiment just right over that linen thread. And you can kind of pull it as needed, spread them out a little bit. And there you have our linen thread. And now we're gonna take our dots here. We're gonna use the boho blue. And I'm just gonna take two of them here and put them on our sentiment. And we're gonna take one more and you can either put it on the left of our sentiment, which is I think what I'm gonna do, you could put it over here. They kind of blend in with this designer paper, right? So I'm gonna stick this one kind of in the middle here. And there you have our Hello Book Binding Fold card. Let me pull back in those ones I showed you in the beginning so that you can see this designer series paper kind of in action. So this would kind of be the reverse of this one here, right? We flipped these two pages over and all of these papers come from the same designer series pack. So those are our book bind folds. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will be back next Wednesday with more of What's She Making Wednesday videos.